During the full-scale war, the Ukrainian defense industry has developed tremendously. This was stated by the U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin during his visit to Kyiv. He noted significant progress in the development of the Ukrainian military-industrial complex and, in particular, the production of advanced UAVs. From the beginning, you have been setting up an anti-tank barricade in the streets of Kyiv and making Molotov cocktails to protect your homes. And now you have a battle-hardened Ukrainian army and a booming defense industrial base. Ukrainian factories are now producing some of the best UAVs in the world. Lloyd Austin, United States Secretary of Defense. The United States plans to provide another $800 million for the development of modern unmanned systems. This was announced by the President of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, in his traditional evening address to Ukrainians. Another separate package is also being prepared. Funding for the production of Ukrainian drones, $800 million. Ukraine is grateful for this support. We need Ukraine to be able to consistently defend its sovereignty, its independence, despite any political threats in the world. Earlier, Lloyd Austin had already noted that the Ukrainian army can use relatively inexpensive systems to hit warehouses with missiles worth millions of dollars each. Experts are confident that the West is ready to allocate money for the development of the industry because they see the effectiveness of drones. We do not have that many people, so we have to defeat them technologically. It is evolutionarily quite clear that the Ukrainian army has focused precisely on the development of technological means, particularly unmanned systems. This has made it more difficult for the enemy to use aviation, allowing us to strike with drones at long distances. It also complicates logistics. Drones can hunt down vehicles providing logistical support and destroy warehouses. NATO is already adopting the Ukrainian experience of using drones. From September 7th to September 22nd, joint exercises between the Ukrainian Armed Forces and the North Atlantic Alliance Rampus 24 took place near the Troia Peninsula in Portugal. Military trained to use drones in defense at sea. In particular, the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine reported the successful testing of the Delta system which controlled more than 50 drones. This is a new step in the development of war fighting. I can compare the development of unmanned systems with the emergence of aviation in the early 20th century in the United States. There are no state-owned enterprises that produce certain equipment, including drones. They all are private companies. As far as I know, these American and Western private companies are actively testing their systems on the battlefield, and this experience is being studied by all NATO countries. Ukrainian marine drones have already helped Kyiv push the Russian fleet out of the Black Sea. Russia has withdrawn most of its ships and submarines from its naval base in Sevastopol. According to the Ukrainian armed forces, before the full-scale invasion, the Russian Black Fleet had 74 warships. Over more than two and a half years of war, the Ukrainian defense forces managed to destroy at least a third of them. Many ships were also seriously damaged, some of which will never be restored. Reported by Sergei Kulas, Andriy Dmitrenko, UATV News.